pilots drain man here and today i've got a pretty exciting video we're gonna check out the all new the brand new speedy b f405 aio 40 amp blue j ese flight controller combo you are not gonna want to miss this let's go All <laughs> right, pilots. So here's the deal. This is an AIO stack or an AIO board, and that means all in one. That means everything you can think of is all on one board. Now, there's true AIOs that have built-in receivers and built-in VTXs and built-in all this other stuff. This is not that type of AIO. This is a more mm, main stack AIO, and what that means is you've got your flight controller and your your ESC and it's all in one and that's pretty sweet because you're paying one simple price $55.99 and you're getting both boards together on one board which can mean that if something goes wrong and it breaks eh, you're out more money but you're saving more money because you're not buying two separate boards I mean what brand and board with some decent features and qualities are you going to spend $55.99 get an ESC and a flight controller not happening all right let's go ahead and crack this puppy open and see what's inside okay you get your full-on instructions can never go wrong with that and wow okay I wasn't expecting that I was expecting like a typical AIO this is this is <laughs> this is looking gorgeous wow look at that you got I can see my antennas right there right on board they've already pre put in the grommets you've got a low profile USB type C connector you've got all there's your motor pads right here you've got all your oh man this is beautiful absolutely ah, beautiful now imagine a full build with just this little guy right in the center just just the just right in the center of the build making all the magic happen <laughs> what is this okay a practice soldering board Ooh. oh my god look at this it is an actual physical exacto capo of the actual board oh, if you were afraid to solder on here well guess what all the pads are laid out identically so if you're a beginner and you're getting into this and you're like okay I want to solder up my receiver I've never done that before you can literally come here and solder up 5 volt ground R3 T3 and just test soldering on these pads before coming on here and actually soldering it on here so that's really cool I, I don't think I've seen this yet I've seen practice soldering boards and I've seen stacks before but I have not seen where they sent us a copy for you to practice on before doing it so that's pretty cool whoa we've got some other gadgets here what do we got okay oh okay I already know what this is this is a Beck right here we've got a BEC that is a battery eliminating circuit and look at that ground T3 R3 ground S bus how cool is that you've got soldering pads on the back and there's your Beck right there I can tell by the electronics right we've got everything that we need to make up a Beck and what's cool is I've got a jumper right here so it looks like it's gonna natively be 5 volts if I jump this pad right here it's gonna become 9 volts so that's really cool if you need a back or you're gonna do something that requires that and it doesn't even have to be on this board you may use this on another board hey free back let's go 56 bucks and I'm already up a practice soldering board and a back let's keep moving what is this whoa look at that an expansion power board very nice so oh it's very little and oh it's very little and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put uh, double side sticky tape on here and you're going to want to stick this down you may even heat shrink it because you've got pads on both sides and the last thing you want to do is let both of these touch carbon at the same time and short something out that would be no bueno but this is a power expansion board so that's going to allow you to bring in voltage 
and ground, whatever voltage you want, 5 volts, 12 volts, whatever you got, VBAT, whatever. And then you can come right here and connect multiple things. So for example, I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna bring in five volts, five volt ground, I'm gonna run my receiver. I'm gonna run a five volt camera. I'm gonna run a five volt VTX. I'm gonna run my GPS. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That saves you uh, all kinds of stuff. And it's kind of like a little hub, right? So something you may or may have not thought of is you can run a battery in a ground out somewhere and uh, get it down on an arm or get it underneath or get it up by the camera or get it back here, bring your power and ground, and then you can distribute power off of that board in another location. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Now we've got one last board right here. What is this? Whoo! Ooh, there you go. That is a full-size USB, and you can see the difference, right? See that? Look at that. That's pretty sweet right there. You've got a micro, and well, I call it a low profile, and then you've got a full-size USB right here. So once you mount this, you may not have access to it, right? It's nice and tight. It's up in there. You can't get to it. Well, that's where this comes in. So what makes this cool is you can go ahead and plug in right here, or you can hard solder on the bottom, put a little... Uh, heat shrink or whatever you want over it, double side sticky tape, and you can even keep it nearby and plug it in as you need it or hard mount it and bring it up somewhere where it's accessible and mount it on your quadcopter so that way when you do need to work on this thing, you can access it through this. And it's quite incredible that they gave us this because on top of already having one on here, you don't need it. It's a speedy bee. What does that mean? Yes, it connects to the Speedy B app via Bluetooth. Everything you want to do, you can already do right here on your app, right here on your phone. So you don't even need this jugger, but thank you anyways. 56 bucks and counting. <laughs> So on board, you're running the ICM 426-88P Gyro. Very nice. You've got a barometer on board. You're running Blue Jay. Here's your DJI connector. Here is going to be uh, your boot. This is for your USB if you want to extend that out. That's this board right here. And those are those connections right there as labeled on the board. Uh, you've got all four motor connections, boom, boom, boom. You've got power and ground, which can be hit from both sides with big pads and the holes in the middle for the capacitor. So even though we are working on a very small board with a lot of stuff, including heat sinks, they still manage to give us decent sized pads and all the little twerks and tweaks that make uh, make boards great. It's really nice. Do we want to mount it in a full-size quadcopter and take it to the sky? Because pilots, just because this mounting is 25 by 25 doesn't mean you can't put it in a full-size quad. All you need is a mounting bracket. See this right here? You just take this and you use this and you can mount that in there. Everybody gets hung up on, well, it's 30 by 30 and 20 by 20. Well, just because this is in the middle at 25 by 25 and most don't have 25 by 25 mounting. So you just have to use a little bracket like this. You'll mount it as you see it lines up with those and then it'll line up with that. Look at that. Boom! And it even mounts it in the correct orientation, which is like this, which you really don't need because you can adjust that in beta flight. But overall, for 56 bucks, packed with features, LED on uh, one, two corners. Bloop. As you can see right here, this handles anywhere from three to six S. So that means it's going to handle a full size five inch quadcopter just fine. You've got two. 4V5s, okay, what are 4V5s? 4V5s are five volt BECs that turn on by USB. That means you would connect your receiver there so that way you can work on this without having to power up the quadcopter or power up the flight controller. You just simply plug it into USB and it will then have power. You have two of those on board. You'll look for those, they'll be labeled 4V5. You've got three five volt BECs that are outputting about two amps. They are shared with the four V5s, and then you've got motors one through four. You've got four full function serial ports. You are three, four, five, and six, and then you've also got S-Bus, which is on R2. 
if you want to run that all right you've got supported i2c you've got led pads which are not just power and ground they are full led they are ws 2812s that means that you go into the beta flight uh leds tab and you can full on program and set these up to be as cool as you want if you don't know how to set up beta flight leds i've actually got a video on that i will link that for you down in the video description all right it does support beta flight and inav and what more can you ask for because we're even getting these extra little toys for 56 bucks this is absolutely magnificent so what i want to know from you guys is we've got two options one i tear this down and we take it apart and we remove these heat sinks and we see what's going on inside let's take a look they've mounted the antenna on top i want to remove that screw and i want to get up in there and see what's going on let me know if you want to do that we can put this under the scope and really take a look and really take a dive in or option two we can put this in a full size quadcopter and I will mount it even though this is 20 by 20, 30 by 30. I'll use a bracket to get 25 by 25 mounted in here and then we'll take this thing for a spin with full 6S motors, full size GoPro, full on everything and see how it does. Oh, the last thing that I want to touch on really quick is you do have onboard OSD if you are running analog and you also have eight megabytes of flash if you want a black box and you were unsure if this had it. <laughs> it does 56 bucks and it does so i hope that you guys will go out and get your own f405 blue j all in one by speedy b for only 56 bucks or 55.99 i hope that you guys had as much fun as i did and i will see you on the next one